Good morning, it is nice and early. It's just before seven o'clock. We're all packed up and we are ready to leave Sim Reap today and leave Cambodia actually. Ready? Yes. Let's go. Just to quickly update you where we left off yesterday, we were walking over to the giant Ibis office to sort out our tickets. It ended up that our tickets weren't booked. We had to book them again. Um, so we booked our tickets and the office that I thought we had to go to, on the thing it says pick up from the giant Ibis office, which is just around the corner. Um, but no, I asked there, is this the pick up? And it's like, oh no, you have to go to the main bus terminal, which is uh, two kilometers away, which isn't that far, but with these bags, it's like a bit of a trek. So we're gonna try and get a tuk tuk over there. Okay, that was easy. We got a tuk tuk, we're on our way. Okay, we're at the Giant Ibis station now. Just showing our tickets. I've had to hand over our passport to the bloke. And we're just sitting waiting. It's like 20 past seven now. The bus leaves at 7.45. Oh, I haven't told you where we're going. We are going to Bangkok. So I think it's about an eight and a half hour ride. Look at the station, by the way, look. They just put like bus seats. <laughs> bus seats in the station, how cool is that? Look. Ooh, this is a nice bus, isn't it? Yeah? Oh, we like this bus. Look, we've got seat things. sitting our booked seats no and we are off it's a very quiet bus it's just the two of us and three other people so hopefully that means that we are quick through the border control fingers crossed you never know we've just been given our arrival and departure cards that we need to fill in also we've been given a bottle of water and a little um like croissant pastry thing and yeah and like a wet towel it's so nice having this like extra leg space isn't it giant ibis is slightly more expensive than other buses but i think it's it's worth it isn't yeah. it for the it's, it's i would say luxury it's not luxury but in terms of like buses and things over here it is luxury it's just yeah i think they like, lose a row of seats or something so they can give you extra space now i'm gonna fill out our um arrival cards we don't need a visa uk citizens i think most um most countries you don't need a visa for like 13 14 days in thailand i'm not entirely sure but for uk citizens we don't need a visa so that's good also can i just add look how far the seats go back i'm virtually light and hot until here i might try and sleep i've been up since half past four I might try and have a little sleep and do a bit of editing and sleeping i think that's my plan for the bus it won't happen i just spat around on games and things steven's a fan of the little bread pastry it's a chocolate chip like a brioche thing nice yeah yeah i've given him mine Okay, just after I finished speaking, then the guy came over and we have just stopped. We're about, um, <laughs> spiders in. We're about um, 20 minutes away from the border that like he came in. But like I said, um, oh, we've just got off toilet break. I don't really know why we've stopped here as opposed to at the border. Maybe there isn't toilets and things at the border. I don't know. But Stephen's like, yes, get, in, get out, get in the sun because it's so cold on the bus. We're going to sit in the sun for a few minutes. We're here, border is there as you can see, not far away, and it's still asleep. So hopefully this 
border crossing is going to be relatively simple. The guy has just come and collected our passports. He's going to take our passports, I think, and get them stamped on the Cambodia side. And then we need to get off on the Thai side. I'm not sure, to be honest. I'll let you know as we go along. He's woken up. Oh, we're well, not. Okay. <laughs> What? It's too warm. I'm gonna say too cold, Jimmy. I know we should have got our jackets, shouldn't we? So the guy from the bus took our passports here in Pothet and took them to get our stamp out of Cambodia. We're now walking with him to the Thai border, I'm assuming just like to walk through. Okay, so this is the border. Just down there, Kingdom of Thailand. Kingdom of Cambodia up there. Kingdom of Thailand all the way in the distance. So we're walking through. All the vehicles are over there. I think it might take a long time for a bus to get through. There's a massive queue. Now in Thailand, that was pretty simple. Oh, just a thirty minute, oh, yeah, <laughs> a thirty minute um, queue at um, immigration, and that was all. Well, like a transformer. Look, it's like a transformer. So whilst we were going through, our bus has come through. He's just waiting for us in the car park. Simple. We are back on the bus. I don't know how long it is. Three, four hours maybe to go to um, Bangkok. Stephen's gone on the back seat. Like, literally, there is three other people on this bus. Hopefully, I think I think we're all back on. I'm not sure if anyone's like stuck at the border control or getting visas or whatever. I don't think so. Hopefully not. We can just leave. We've just set off and he's just come and bought. We didn't get this last time. We were on a giant oh, bus, but we got a little lunch. It looks like. Um, like some cucumber slices and like some vegetable rice. Rice. Yeah. Like vegetable rice. Ah, Stephen's just got his and said he's not hungry and he's chucked it at me. And now he's heard what I've, what I've um, said it is. He's like, oh, then yeah, we'll eat it now. <laughs> he thought it was something good. What's the verdict on our giant ibis lunch? Well, no. Nice. I don't know what verdict. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Okay, I just had a look and it says it's three and a half hours to Bangkok, but I assume it's going to be longer because we're going to have stops and I think the traffic will be chaos getting into Bangkok. I can't find where the bus stops either, hopefully it's somewhere near the hotel, but I don't think it will be, <laughs> to be honest. We are going to relax and watch a film. Oh, you need the... Um, yeah, I just want to say that thingy. we need to need the hard drive. Uh, yeah, we're going to watch a film, of course. I'm not going to do any editing. Any editing? <laughs> But this black and white, but over there, let me zoom in and show you. Yeah, at the, the yeah, at the border control and everything, like all the shops have got. You can't really quite see that one, but I've got a photo of the king. Yeah, if you don't know, the king of Thailand died. Was it about a month ago when we were in Hanoi? I think yeah, about a month ago, and he was. The people love him over here. He was the longest reigning monarch. Ever. Um, and so they're in like a massive period of mourning still and now uh, we've watched a video the other day actually and they were saying that um he was the guy who was in Bangkok was saying that most of the Thai people are all wearing black as a sign of respect or they're wearing like a black um 
band or something, black like ribbon or something. Yeah, so we'll see when we get out, we'll see. Oh no, they don't know, that's why they were. <laughs> I was explaining to Stephen before about it. He thought that they just generally they just wear black notes as a sign of sign of respect and um, in mourning for the king. into our tuk tuk yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've arrived at our hotel we're just going up the stairs we just checked in we haven't got to our room yet we've done something terrible haven't we Stephen yeah. we'd like to tell them oh no <laughs> oh no on the bus on the buses they have like, you know like on aeroplanes, there's over seat, um, not over seat, overhead, like things where you put stuff in. I'm tired. <laughs> um, we put some stuff in there, we put our food, like we're having like a baguette, and we some Nutella and stuff like that. And, um, and we put our blue pillow, our blue little cushion that we bought in Amsterdam. It's been everywhere with us. Yeah, we <laughs> We put that up there. We just realised we left it on the bus. So that's a bit of a bugger. Oh, we're here. Seriously. There's a dragon. Whoa. It's a dragon. Um, are you sure it's in here? I don't know whether it's meant to be a dragon. Here's our room. Oh, let me just drop these bags a sec. And we have. A balcony that looks onto something, that's a miracle. That looks under something okay. It looked, I mean, yeah, okay. It's not bad. It's there. Oh, if that building wasn't there, but we could see the sunset. It's a really big building, isn't it? Never mind. Let's have a look. And then, bathroom. Yeah. There. Me. Hello. And we've got a fridge, so that's good for Steven. Steven always likes to have a fridge. Right, I'm going to go and unpack, I think. Okay, we have dumped our bags. I didn't unpack. I don't know why I said I was going to unpack because I never really unpack anymore. We are off. We're about a kilometre away from Koh San Road, which, if you don't know Bangkok at all, it is like a big backpacker district. It's like full of bars and fooderies and stuff like that. So we're going to go wander over there. We haven't got long. It's like half past five. 7 Eleven. Stephen's excited to see 7 Eleven. We haven't seen them since Hong Kong. Um, it's about half past five. So. We haven't got that long. We need to um, grab something to eat because we left our food on the bus. Yeah, look, this is the Democracy Monument. We went past that on the bus. Do you remember? I showed it you before. Okay, here we are. The start of the famous Kosan Road. Hello, thank you. You'll have to get one. Oh, you have to get one if you've been to 7-Eleven 11 times. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> you only have to get one if you've been to 7-Eleven 7-Eleven times. Maybe. It has to be quite the same one. I think we're going to head back to the hotel. It's just kind of starting to get dark now. I think this place Ooh. gets... Oh yeah, the moon. I think this place gets completely chocker of the night, I can imagine. It's just really starting to get busy now. We're gonna head back, I think, and possibly come back here tomorrow night, I'm not sure. I just realized that I didn't end the vlog yesterday. It's like half three in the morning, half four in the morning. I've been awake since half three. Don't ask me why, mum. 
body clock is all messed up at the moment for whatever reason I've got up to do some editing um, so I just thought I would hop on and then um, end the vlog so thank you for watching today I'll see you well today for me really but I'll see you tomorrow good night